PlayStation? No. Right now. Yeah. Oh. No. oh, yeah. All right. Hello. Welcome to <laughs> another terrible episode of the Game Fanatics <laughs> podcast. My name is Ben. I'm joined by two goofballs. Henry. What are we talking about? PlayStation? Now. And Jeff. <laughs> now. Yeah. 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 Right so now. today we're right talking now. about PlayStation now, right now. Now. At this very moment, currently. Wait, PlayStation now? When? Who? Play, play, PlayStation now? Play what? <laughs> yeah. Xbox when? It's going to be one of those. <laughs> it deteriorated into madness. So at CES, it's like Sony, five seconds in. Uh, start, announced their PlayStation Now service, going to stream what? Basically everything PS1, PS2, PS3, 2, PS3, and PS4. And other devices, right? Like tablets and whatever in the future. Yeah. Yeah, it'll cover the tablets, the smartphones, Vita, blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's really cool. I think that's really cool, too. Um, this is obviously using uh, Gaikai. Right. Finally, we know what Gaikai was for. We kind of knew. Yeah, we had the idea of what they were going to do, but, you know, we knew that they would, you know, use it as a streaming service, but we didn't know if it would be only PS3 games and then use PS1 and 2 to go with the regular service and uh, the name, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah, it's really Wonka. Um... <laughs> Continue. So, yeah, they showed it off. Um, from what I hear, it works pretty good. I don't know. I've never used... Uh, was it on live? I've never tried on live. Oh. Isn't it on live? That that's yeah. the game streaming. Uh... You're right. Yeah, it's on live. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, okay. Anyway, there was on live, <laughs> there was on live, and there was Gaikai, and on live had its own little box that they gave out to like PAX attendees or something the other year. Uh huh. It's a game. It's a game streaming service. It basically streams PC games to your computer. Oh, from so, what? What? From what? From what to what? Yeah, from what? From them to you. Oh, okay. It's the, the same way this does. I, I, well, I didn't know if it would be like a like a sling box kind of idea. No, it, no, that's idea. cool though. I think they this is that's basically what this kind of is. Well, I mean, that's kind of what remote play is. It's essentially it turns your PlayStation to a sling box. Yeah. But so anyway. I like the idea of being able to stream. Uh, you know. PS1, PS2, PS3, especially PS2, because it kind of got shafted last gen. Yeah, it totally did. They had a ton of PlayStation classics, but and like barely any PS2 classics. Yeah. What's the other key features here? We're missing something. Oh, rentals. Cheap. Oh, uh, that too. Yeah, go on. All right, so you can rent games. No pricing, obviously, announced. It better be not crazy, because I'm not going to pay $10 for like five days. I really hope that it's included in the PlayStation Plus Pass, but I I doubt it. It seems like, yeah, this is going to be a separate subscription. It, they did mention a subscription. Because a, a, the... Uh, separate subscription. See, so here you go. Yeah, users will be able to rent games individually or pay for a PlayStation Now subscription, which, based on that verbiage, sounds like it's going to be a separate subscription. Yeah, especially with how they've been going with the PlayStation Plus now that it's... Uh, required for online and everything mm. it's kind of the base product now in terms of membership yeah, to exactly. playstation so oh. this subscription would i would hope let you stream everything yeah right? yeah I, I i wouldn't think that they do a uh you know, pay more to stream it to these products or to get these games and stuff yeah i would imagine it's, it's all or nothing because otherwise it's just a giant mess yeah and they you know, Sony's been really good lately. They need to keep going with the streamlining of their product line. Mm -hmm. And if they just convolute it more, then that's no good. Don't pull a Steam box. Um, <laughs> call back. No. Uh, so what was the other big thing you were going to say, Henry? Uh, you can stream live TV through it. Oh, really? I didn't see yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, it, the, it, I think it also acts as a DVR, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not surprised if it would. Yeah, I know that it, it does uh, TV. So that's... Okay. Where'd you uh, Where'd you read the TV thing? Uh, it was in the press conference. I see it right here. I think. No, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. 
But yeah, one other thing I like, they're, they're using a cloud to stream it too. So whatever device you're using, PS4, Vita, PlayStation 3, tablet, smartphone, and even Bravia TVs, according to the PlayStation blog right oh. here. Yeah. Uh, it's just you can pick up wherever you left off using your save. Like, that's awesome. That's yeah. totally the future. Thank you. Yeah, that's so cool. Like, being able to just, you know, get up from your PlayStation, go <laughs> to the shitter, play your Vita. <laughs> that's why the Wii U is so great. <laughs> yeah, and then you walk out the door, and then you carry on on your phone or whatever. Not that I've done that. Or would have done that. Or... Oh, I would. Now that I have the option, I'm totally doing that. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to, like not to do stupid things like, oh, I'm gonna go like make a sandwich, and so you just like take it over there. And make a sandwich. Yeah, actually, I I like I whenever do, I'm I cooking, like I totally take my Vita in with me and just you know, remote play. But, um, yeah, I think it's. Awesome to finally seeing the, or to finally see that this three hundred eighty million dollar investment <laughs> is actually, you know, in motion because a lot, you know, of Sony's history has been empty promises, unfortunately, and now that the, it, it had a chance to die away, mm-hmm. they could have never mentioned it again, and a lot of people have forgotten about it. Not like us people that actually. No, but yeah, the average person. Yeah, the average person. And but now that you know they're coming back out and saying it's coming soon, don't you worry. Like we have it on the floor, ready for you to test it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I, I I really like that. Yeah, and they have the beta. Was it a closed beta starting end of the month? I think. Yeah. End of January. It's gonna be cool. I'm worried a little bit about game, the game library. Um, right, because if the PS3 store is any indication, it's not going to be that amazing for these retro games. What do you mean? I mean, how many PS2 games come out on launch? Right. Yeah, I I understand that, but they also said that the entire backlog will be available. So it's just a matter of when, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I I really hope that, like everything. Well, how, let's let's talk about pricing actually for this, because if this is a separate monthly thing, how much is play, PlayStation Plus is fifty dollars for a year? How much is that a month? Uh, calculator. I, it is four dollars. That doesn't seem right. Really? I did it on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, it must be right. So it must be right. It's uh, about four dollars and sixteen cents. That's what I'm getting, Ben. Okay, good. And I concur. All right, good. Math is hard. Um, <laughs> Forgot how to math. <laughs> so, so how much would I imagine this would be like an add-on thing? I, I'd imagine you can't have PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now and not have PlayStation Plus. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's a uh, like if an you extra paid tier. Yeah. Like if you paid ten dollars a month to get PlayStation Now, I would assume you would also get PlayStation Plus. Right. And not the other way around. You know. Yeah. Um, is ten dollars a month, let's say, too much? I'll be a hundred and twenty dollars a year. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's that, more than that, that is a lot. Like more than I Netflix, would... <laughs> more than Hulu. Yeah, that's oh man. It's more uh, than Amazon Prime, which has a lot of other benefits. Yeah. Right. I and think you, that I guess look at your entertainment value here because you know, like Netflix does TV shows and movies. You know, where whereas games are a more substantial investment in, and and True. you get more out of it entertainment wise. Like, is say you wanted well, to stream. Well, Final Fantasy. Also, I have a a, a a point to throw into here. For they say that you can rent games. Is that mm-hmm. when if you're not subscribed? Yes. Yes. Okay. So can you rent them if you are subscribed? I think if you're subscribed, you just get everything. Okay. So you don't have to pay individually for the games. No, only if you're not subscribed. Okay. And that's the other thing. If the rental... I was gonna say. Like that would because definitely be an issue because, like, you have to pay for the service to use and pay for the games. Oh, that would be the death knell of that service. Yeah, but it, I mean, if there's only like a couple games you want to play and renting them is a couple bucks, I could see that being a good option. I, I think the subscription model is going to be more for, I don't know, hardcore. I guess because yeah, for sure. I don't think so. I think that it'll be uh... unless it's cheap enough. Yeah, if it's cheap enough, then it'll just be like, oh yeah, I'll get this too. 
as because yeah. if it is cheap enough, you definitely should get it. Like, but at the same time, there are people that don't have PlayStation Plus, like when back with like PS3, and it's like, how do you not have this? This thing is amazing. You get yeah, free it's... games every month. Mm-hmm. You make your money back in literally a month. What are you yeah. doing with your life? But <laughs> with the PlayStation, cool. but but with the PlayStation Four, like it is almost completely necessary to have Mm -hmm. right yeah especially with the online and with the no games right now yeah yeah that's definitely an issue right now but yeah we'll see how it all works out yeah let's say theoretically though like this this is my example here i've always wanted to get into the assassin's creed series i've never have jumped on those and like assuming they have the entire series ready to stream you know that would be worth like $30 Thirty dollars for three months or so, or however long it would take me to get through Assassin's Creed one through four. It'll take you a while. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. I don't, it, it just depends on the availability. Because if if it's mm. if renting a game, let's say renting a game is five dollars for a week, or it's ten dollars a month, like you just buy the month. You know, it depends on the pricing, and that's the most important part for all of this, naturally. And that's the only part they didn't tell us about. Yeah, if, if all you want to do is like play a game, you know, if you're already buying a new game every month, you know why not just put the ten dollars into to Gaikai or PlayStation Now? You know. Yeah. They also talked about the uh, try anything and in instant uh, broadcast. Yeah, what is that? With it exactly. So you know how they talked about the PlayStation Store and that you could you know demo it right away. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they're finally implementing that so you can demo it right away and if you like it you 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 know pay for it and download it as you continue playing and uh the instant broadcast part of it is you can uh that's the twitch stream yeah that, yeah that's the twitch and the you stream and stuff like that um which is the uh they kind of have it right now but it's not as fleshed out as they said it was in the beginning, but this is the extra bits of that that will flush it out. Okay. I think that's good. I think, oh, it's really good because, like, Microsoft really doesn't have anything really going on to compete with this right now. That yeah, we know started, of. They just started games with gold, right? Which is, by the way, awful. God, awful. <laughs> it's an insult. Oh, here's Assassin's Creed 2, five right. years after it came out. Right. Thank you. Yeah, while... We got, or PlayStation got Devil May Cry yeah, this, this month, this and month. and Bioshock is coming out this month. Right. On... And what, last month was Grid 2 and Borderlands 2? Yeah. Yeah, these aren't small games. Yeah, as opposed to a five-year-old game that sucked in the first place. Yeah, it's like, oh, here's Halo <laughs> 3, you know, the game everyone with an Xbox owns. Right. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, oh, like people on Xbox, they are either you know Call of Duty, Halo, or like Assassin's Creed. So they already have those games. But then again, they don't have uh, that. That's kind of the downfall of their community. Like, what games will they like that we can give to them for free? Oh wait, games that they already have because that's all they play. Yeah, that's kind of the. That's kind of true. I don't know. It's it's crazy. That's kind of off off topic, but they are really yeah. dropping the ball with that. Yeah, if it's if really the service yeah. is like if the streaming works on you know, just average connections and the the selection of games is good, I think PlayStation Now would be a good deal. If if you're just going mm-hmm. out, you, you have a lot of free time and you're playing a lot of games. Especially if it starts streaming like PS4 games and you can just buy the subscription and not have to really buy a game. You know, if it ever gets to yeah. that point, you just keep right. paying monthly. You of know, course, just... you could completely have the model wrong, and we're just assuming this ten dollars. Yeah, so this will all just be. Uh, yeah, it'll be revealed. It's like twenty dollars a month, and and that's too much. Right, and they're not gonna have new games on it right away. Of course. Yeah, it's true. This this release does not mention PS4 games, so what I just said could not happen. <laughs> so there you go, facts. <laughs> but I I think that like like you said. Uh, like if if it was twenty dollars a month, that'd be too much, and I agree because at the end of uh, the day or end of the year, you know that's I mean a, that's like two hundred fifty dollars basically. Yeah, but I mean if you think about it, twenty dollars a month to play any game from Sony. Well, that's it, that's true. That if it was to play any game, not to in, say that I would like I would reluctantly play and 
only as like a hardcore gamer like I would because I have all these games that I miss and I you know would play yeah, over yeah, again. Yeah. But for like the average consumer, it's just like that is not happening. You know, mm-hmm. like I've already played these games. Like why would I play them again? You know, it's a little yeah. I I await their pricing because that's it all hinges on that. Yeah. Another topic where we have to wait a couple months and see what happens. Yeah, well, that's what happens when such you a know, CES. Brand new news, yeah, you know, it's still developing. Blah blah blah. This will be like revealed in a press release tomorrow after we record this. Like, oh, it was a joke. <laughs> None of this ever happened. We're like, fuck. If someone got drunk and they just <laughs> made this presentation. Sorry. Guy Kai's over. But, yeah, some, something here that blows me away with it is still just that you can stream it across so many devices. So, like, say say you're a journalist mm. and you just got into a new game and then suddenly you have to be called away to a convention. So, you're just like three chapters in The Last of Us. You can just go to the hotel, pop out your Vita, and get right back to your game. Yeah, and that right. that is the biggest thing, I think. Yeah. For sure. But mainly when I'm on the shitter. But mainly <laughs> toilet games. Go. <laughs> All right, so tell us what you want to do with this streaming, on the toilet or not on the toilet, in the comments below. You can also email us at podcast at thegamefanatics.com. Henry's on Twitter. Yeah, at the Holloway. Jeff's on Twitter. TGF underscore Jsmith. And I'm on Twitter at TGF underscore KirbyLink. Like the video, subscribe. Um, That's it. Merry Christmas. Is that it? I don't know. Uh... See, so like and subscribe. GameFanatics.com. Yeah, check comment. out the comments. Yeah, comment, comment below. below. Then we'll do later things on comments, maybe. Blah blah blah. Yeah. We'll just put all this in. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, check Whatever. out the site for more news from CES. There you go. Adios. So look at this PlayStation Now logo. I think I want a PlayStation guitar pick. And I can punch a hole in it and wear it like a necklace and then get judged at. Wow, that's that's super cool, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear it to trade from... shows and then people will laugh at me. It does yes. look like a guitar yes. pick, though. That's kind yeah. of funny. It looks like... Uh, Wait, what does? The logo. It looks like... Uh, what is it? Lipitor or something? They show the pill and it's like this weird <laughs> triangle. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that logo. It looks weird. It looks off-center. Yeah, it does. I don't no, like Lipitor it. Lipitor is not a triangle. I just couldn't help it. What does Lipitor do? Isn't that a... Uh, it's like cholesterol. Is it? I thought it yeah. was like a... Oh, yeah, it's, it like is Viagra cholesterol. Viagra or something. Oh, that's <laughs> Viagra. <laughs> no, there's another one. I don't know. Of course there's another one. There's like a bajillion. No, Lipitor is a uh, cholesterol lowering. I should thing. put this Lipitor discussion as a bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get a Lipitor and wear it around my neck and get you know, laugh. I know, back. that changes exactly what you said. Like, it changes the entirety of what you said. <laughs> Why are you doing that to a pill? Why are you doing that? <laughs> that is strange. Don't do that, Jeff. That'd be like candy necklaces. When you, <laughs> so when you need one, you take a little nibble of it. Oh, that's the the evolution of uh, prescriptions. It's just a, a prescription necklace. It's like how they do birth control in like the circle wheel thing. <laughs> but it's just like a bunch of pills around your neck. <laughs> Does the band they put around like still taste awful? Because that was the worst part. You, you don't eat that. That's a piece of string. Right. No. No. You still tasted it inevitably, and it tasted awful. Why are you eating string? <laughs> Not I know what you're string. talking about. I know what you're talking about. Because you have to stick your mouth on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I got you. I, got you. Uh, I'm gonna go I think I will put this at the end of the episode as a joke. <laughs> I think I will. All right. Fun fact: Lipitor is a word. Word. No. <laughs> like it's it straight up. Like, did you mean to capitalize that? And I'm like, yeah, I did. No facts about Lipitor are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what they say really fast at the end. Like, no facts about Lipitor fun. <laughs> Consult your doctor. This commercial was completely joyless. <laughs> your life sucks. Sorry. <laughs> Please take this pill. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>